Hello there guys. And this is going to be a slightly different creepy cute. And the lighting is interesting. <laughs> I've been trying to play with the lighting for the last 10 minutes, just trying to get it to be okay. And if I have the back proper backlighting on, I'm full on blown out, right? If I have it like this, you can see me, but with slightly blue and slightly, I don't know, boudoir lighting. So I guess that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. That's what we're going with, I guess. <clears throat> so, creepy, creepy, cute, creepy, creepy, cute. It's time for some creepy, cute Halloween edition. Star Wayne Witch. So, I'm actually going to be unwrapping some goodies from a Kavulta, which I can probably, I'm probably saying horribly, horribly wrong. Um, a Kavulta. I don't know, they're in Spain, so maybe. Uh, but I wanted to share with you a few little bits as well that are like my last birthday presents to myself that finally showed up. Like I ordered them around my birthday and they finally showed up today. Um, and plus one other thing that I ordered um, a little bit later. And one thing I found today, um, which is all kind of Halloween-y, it's all kind of creepy cute, and I wanted to showcase them. So originally I was going to do all the birthday items that I received, but I, the more I sat with it, the more I sat with it, I just didn't feel okay with this. For some reason, there's something about it that doesn't kind of feel okay. So I'm going to leave that. And the people who bought me things, they know who they are. They know how much I appreciated them. I had some really gorgeous fox things. I've showcased a few of them and I will probably continue to showcase a few of them here and there just so people can, you know, feel appreciated a little bit more than me just being like, I love it, thank you so much, because I did. I loved everything that you guys uh, sent me, so that was lovely. But, let's see. <sighs> okay, Russell, 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 Russell. So the first thing arrived this morning, and I was super freaking excited. Uh, super freaking excited. I was like, oh my god, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Um, and there's been kind of like a little bit of a Spanish undertone theme today, given everything. Um, so the first thing that came was a pop vinyl figure for the fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, I do like the pop vinyls quite a bit. I don't, I try to only get the ones that I really, really like, because otherwise it's just a money, money, money sink. Um, but Pan's Labyrinth is one of those movies, right? I, I would consider it a life altering movie. It came up again recently, I'm gonna just hold the pawn here. Um, and it's set in the Spanish Civil War. And there's this beautiful dynamic between the terrible, uh, dark, I mean, dark quite literally, um, om ominous, shocking, dehumanized world of the the spanish civil war and what's happening around and the behavior of human beings um is set against like this fantasy uh world this and it's a little bit eerie a little bit creepy and onto itself it's a very old world kind of but there's beauty in there and it's like this dynamic between the two it's an amazing storytelling experience it makes me cry every single time every single time and it's it's supposed to make you question is it really happening is it just in her head to cope what's going on here and there is no right answer with that which i love and the fawn is obviously one of the main uh, fantasy figures within that movie um and that's another thing there is the whole movie is moral gray right because the humans are not good humans for the most part that you see some terrible actions in humans and then um the fawn its motivations and things are questionable um I, the only like pure evil thing is the i forgot what his, the creature's name is with his with his hands um he's meant to be pure evil and just eats children so it's interesting but the rest of the movie is pretty much Mara Gray. So he came today. He was the only thing I really wanted for my birthday and I didn't get one. So I ordered one to myself because I want one. So there you go. So he came today, was super pleased. Um, following from that, actually, this is kind of funny. This is a theme um, I actually ordered from um, now. This is from the taxi dermis that I know. Um, so uh, it's naturally fallen. Um, so it's, it's not been <sighs> butchered up to serve, but, um, a ram horn and it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's actually really, really interesting thinking about it because these came on the same day. 
So uh, you can make arguments for them both having like Kuron and Os, like the, the form talks about having many names and Pan that is one of them obviously because Pan's labyrinth. Um, and this is actually to be part of oracle work that I'm doing and I'm playing with different types of oracle work and uh, connecting to um, the energies of uh, spirits and things within. So I wanted this for that, not for any particular god, although it definitely has that Coronanos vibe to it, that very wild, uh, it's a wild English ram horn um, that, was, that naturally started. So that was another thing. Um, and then the last thing that I'm going to mention, no, no, there's two more things, sorry. The second to last thing I'm going to mention, um, people keep asking about my, well, they would if the camera didn't do that. They keep asking me about my eyeshadow recently. And it's actually, I wanted just to give a shout out to the Juvia palettes. I have two of them now. This one is my favorite. This one is the Magic by Juvia. And um, she has Indian roots, I believe. Um, and then like that goes into like all of the artwork um, with regards to her beautiful palettes. Um, and then I will move the thing. So this is the color palette from the Juvia. It's very bright, very vibrant. Um, and there's some beautiful colors in here. So there's a really gorgeous rose gold here, which is coming off a bit purple on the camera because of the blue lighting. Um, but there's some really beautiful colors. I'm not a palette fan at all. Um, I've been disappointed by every other pal palette I've ever tried. Um, I'm not bothered by it. I like bright colors and a lot of them are just, the color payoff ain't enough for me. I like, so I go with like the Dazzle Dusts and the Medusa's Makeup Dazzle Dusts now because Barry M lost their soul and stopped doing bright colors. Still mad. Although uh, they're Eros, I think it is now. No, it's not Eros. They have a light blue sparkly one, which is saving them a little bit right now, but yeah. So the people who are asking about that, that's what that is. So I just thought I would mention that. And the final thing I found today, because Halloween stuff has started coming out, right? Um, and on mass, it's a bit rubbish. Uh, but I went into Claire's today, Claire's accessories, and I saw this mask. Now, I usually avoid buying stuff in Claire's um, around Halloween because I think their stuff is very overpriced for the most part um, and it's like I've seen a lot of their stuff fall apart quite quickly especially given that I think it's overpriced for what it is. Now and the good example of this is they had another mask that I really quite liked um, but I looked closer to it I was like no. So the other mask was like a full face mask and it had like a, like a jawline with teeth right so like quite um, wolfish if you like but the problem was is the teeth were cheap rhinestones and the teeth were like stuck onto the plastic that the whole thing was mounted on and the one at the front already had three of the teeth missing which is not a good sign when they're brand new and I was just like hmm but then I went around the other corner and I saw this and I was absolutely blown away because this actually is not just a Halloween mask for me this works for ritual too um, it's very Valkyrish it's very Morrigan it's very crow um, and there we go. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I absolutely love it. It's it's just perfect. Um, I did go over because you can probably see um, that it's all little gems in little cage with the little cagings, and I went over like all of them to make sure none were missing, um, and that everything was pressed down um, on the mask that I got. Um, and this was eleven pounds I think um so I was okay with that because I loved it so much but like the other mask was more expensive than that and that was already falling apart so just be careful with that right so we're going to open a Kavulta stuff together and while I think about it I should probably pull up the Kavulta page so I can tell you about things uh, I have supported a Kavulta for a little while now maybe a year maybe two no it must be two or three years hmm. um and uh, I've had a number of different things from them. Uh, I, they used to do a flying ointment and I've been using it very, very sparingly because they don't do that anymore, which is a shame they had problems with it. Um, so uh, I absolutely adore one of their incenses, which we got a bit darker. Okay, we got to leave a little bit darker because I open things. Is that, is that if I go back to that, will that help? Yeah. 
backlighting. So I'll go darker every time I read the page. It'll be like a darkness reading. Lightness talking, darkness reading. Um, <laughs> so I'm not going to talk about that until, because one of these incenses is, is one of those. But this is the little uh, lebe blurb that came with it. They have a fox skull as their motif, which, you know, I should have realized when I came across them. Higher quality herbal artifacts for the alchemist, the poisoner, the apothecary, and the witch. A kavulta.wordpress.com. So I have um, purchased from them for a long time. I've never been disappointed. They are uh, leaning on the expensive side, right? So I kind of buy sparingly from them uh, because they, it is a little bit more expensive. The incenses are much smaller. But the reason that I go f to them is because they are poisonous. Uh, and people are going to be like, what? <laughs> Excuse you? Uh, they work with poisonous herbs. They work with bone dust. They work with... Uh, plants and neighbors and spirits of the old ways, if you like, um, that old alchemist, old poisoner, old apothecary vibe. Um, and we're going to talk about that as we work through, but we're actually going to unwrap together because I thought that would be cool. Now I will say they sent me a free sample of the Pactum incense. This I did not order. This is a free sample and it's a fairly fairly sizable free sample when you consider that the, the bottles full price are not uh, that oh one of mine is sold out now let me find the pactum 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 where are you there you are oh it might be is it is this their love incense uh, the blood red pactum incense crowned with Alexandrine rosebuds is destined to work as an offering in spirit bonds and solemn ceremonies. The practitioner will need to add the Elaine Vitel, i.e. a personal sacrifice, to finalize a pact. Oh, interesting. Um, so it's, it's a pact, I suppose. I should have realized pactum incense. Yes, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> um, that's fairly interesting because I'm actually doing some fetish work right now. So uh, that might be uh, to do with that. That might be to do with that. So they sent me a little free sample of that. Let's have a sniff in the dark because I'm looking at the page. Mm. It's very spicy. Now they have some of their ingredients listed online, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to read out all their things. I don't think it's fair to them. I mean, I'm going to read out some of the ingredients that are to do with like the poisoner ones and the reasons that I buy them from this beautiful beautiful company they come quickly by the way their, their delivery is always efficient and oh and well wrapped and i've never had any problems with it so that's the first thing oh, delicious so i think we will unwrap the incenses together right because um the other two items are a little bit more unusual than the incenses so this is how they came another cup black pickle with a little hard sticker um, it's just absolutely gorgeous and it, it has a little cell effect too. I wonder if I can get round and keep their little gold sticker because that would look so cute on one of my notebooks and by cute I mean gothic and scary. But you know, creepy cute. Uh, I did not do a very good job of not looking at tissue paper. Oh, rustle, rustle everybody. Free uh, ASMR or whatever it is. Oh, I don't think I ordered that either. Or did I? I don't think I did. I think that's another freebie. Stop. And was like, whoa, freebies. Let's, let's blur it. Blur the freebies. Because the thing is, is I don't actually have a note of what I ordered. But I'm fairly certain that I did not order the second one. I will double check. I will read through it again in a second. But... This I definitely ordered. Uh, this is necromancy incense. So this is what they come in, and they're quite a small little pot, as you can see, right? This is my hand. This is a pot. It's quite a little one. Um, is it the 30 mil pots? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 30 mil pots. Right, so we're going to go back into the darkness. Darkness! Um, and read to you uh, a couple of things that I think are interesting from the necromancy incense. These are nearly out of stock. I grabbed these ASAP. So... This is a special incense for necromatic purposes, which can be used as an offering to the spirits of the dead to achieve contract with the dwellers of the underworld. So very 
I'm feeling very under, underworld right now. Uh, made with the utmost reverence to the deceased, this blend contains a mixture of wormwood gathered by night, some other things that I'm not going to mention because they're fairly regular, hemlock, uh, seed IU, and human bone powder. Uh, its effects are narcotic, intoxicating, and strange out of body, mind, and spirit relaxation. So to connect with the powers of the underworld. Now, I've been using this one because this one appealed to me uh, some time back, as you may have guessed. It's it's very more organic. It kind of fits with the underworld vibe, the other world vibe. It's really wonderful for that kind of bathe energy, right? So I've been using this for years and it's my favorite and they kind of do limited runs of things. So um, this was gone all year until just last week and I was like on it <laughs> or the week before, maybe, maybe it was the week before thinking about it. Um, I've been ill this week, so I'm totally off, but this is kind of, I'm going to try and not tip it because obviously it's quite expensive for a little one. And I'm going to try and describe it to you. So, firstly, wormwood. Yes, please. This one has much more of a spicy herb, like a, like a thyme but not scent. Um, it's very uplifting. It's very aromatic. It's evocative. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's probably my favourite thing that I've ever bought from a Cavolta. And so, absolutely. Absolutely adore it. So we're going to open the second one because I'm not sure I, they did order this. I think this may be a freebie. Um, it may not have been. I, my brain is not working, as we have established over many years of my brain not working. Uh, Idol Crescent, which is an oil. Right, let's go to the website and find out if I remember ordering this or not. You'll find out quickly. Unless this actually came with the other thing. Did you come with one of the other things? One second. You're not, you're not going to tell me about that. All right. Okay. That's helpful. <laughs> yes, it came with one of the other things. All right. So it came with something else. So, um, I'm guessing it's just a complimentary oil to the slab for. This is Byrony root fetish and oil. Byrony, also known as English mandrake or devil's turnip. I'm not going to say I bought it because it's called devil's turnip and that amuses me, but maybe. <laughs> And I, there we go, I, uh, come on. So, this is a large root piece to be used in spirit work for getting into spirit with family and plant Davis spirit energy. Is, oh. <laughs> you know, this bedroom lighting and holding this root, it's, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a dangerous video, right? <laughs> so, Byrony, also known as English mandrake or devil's turn <laughs> can be employed in devilish works of trickery and glamouring, cursing, and to both veil and unveil deepest secrets, perhaps as a fetish to protect or damage individuals in crooked ways. This amazing Bryony root was harvested on May 2nd, 2018 in the Catalan Pyrenees and thoroughly dried for three months to be used as a wand or a fetish. Um, and it comes with the oil, um, which is the Idem Chrism oil, which is this. Um, I'm guessing this is to further the work for it. Um, so if I pull the video up so I know what you're looking at versus me reading. One second. Light! We're back in the light! So again this looks an awful lot like the horns thinking about it. There's a theme going on here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. It's an obvious pun but um this to me is for working in like the poison path energies I, I enjoy working with those kind of spirits those kind of energies and that kind of spell work um for deeper understanding for kind of moving through the underworld and learning lessons of of that nature uh, i'll probably talk about that a little bit more in, in videos pertaining to that um going forward but not today um 
I wonder if um, I can search to see if they have this on the website as just an oil. One second. Now I got the only one of those, so I was super happy that I got the only one of those. Um, no, okay, so maybe if I Google it, it'll, it'll tell me, if, do they have the information somewhere else? A cavultar, a cavultar. Oh, so it's like a baptism thing. Okay. So this oil is to be used for consecration, awakening, nurturing, and preservation, crowning. It was a very limited batch, apparently. Hmm. I like I like it a lot. So we're going to load up their page and see what their page says. If their Tumblr is still working, we'll find out because Tumblr is not the most reliable of websites. Come on, go, do it, work, please. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I accept. That's fine. I just I want I just want the information. Please stop it, Tumblr. <laughs> Um, so did you not, did you not take me to the page I asked you to? No, you didn't at all. Oh, goodness. Whatever. It's for, that's what it's for. It's a consecration oil. It's awakening the spirits within the energy. It's to be used with the roots. So that makes sense. Um, and so we're on to the very last thing, the very last thing at this point, you're probably like, Jerry, just freaking get it, get it, get it, get it, shut up and show is the last thing we can go and stop looking around. So, so this is the last thing. Um, this, when these came up, I was like, oh, hello. Oh, hello. I want one. Um, now their website actually doesn't have the information about these and I can't, can I get into this one? Help, I can't get to there we go. Um, so I may have to do the old Googles again because I know they talked about it on their Facebook page. Whilst we're rustling. That, that, oh, I hope we didn't cut the video off. No, we're fine. <laughs> right. Oh. oh, did you? Yeah, there we go. That one's got the information on. Wonderful. Wonderful. So the last thing I got was one of them brand new spirit vessels oh that's showing up quite well considering the lighting you can see all the little markings at the top there it's absolutely wonderful so we just take the top off like so it's absolutely gorgeous i'm going to read you the little blurb about it and you can it seems it was a common european folk practice which claimed that for a witch to get hold of a helping demon or fairy or familiar the witch would carry a needle cage which would be filled with little demons and all sorts of helpful fairies it's my little fairy cage <laughs> no, it's not right. in the basque tradition they are called kutram or justoratus and in the catalan tradition they are known as time to butcher some spanish that's not what they're called. They are known as Conotes de Minerions. And it seems this custom was also present in other areas of Europe. In Basque witchcraft, it is believed if a witch gave away her needle cage before dying, the receiver would transfer all their powers to this person. Thus, we have started offering a series of handmade ter terracotta needle cages emptied to the emptied to host familiar spirits each of them is one of a kind and all have a cap that can easily be removed so it's kind of another way of working with fetishes now when i'm doing spirit work for anybody who's interested in this part um i'm i'm not like 
Cajun capture. I don't believe in that. What I do believe in is creating a spirit housing, a spirit home, uh, and that kind of thing. And I really loved this. They reminded me of the black thorn cages um, or bottles from <sighs> Spirit of Old. And they're based in Galastonbury. Now, the Spirit of Old ones, they go really quickly and they're three or four times as expensive, like out of price range, reasonable expensive, right? So when I saw these, that's what I wanted it for. I was like, I can carry some Blackthorn um, thorns in here and like a deeply connected Spirit of Blackthorn. That's what I wanted it for. So there you go. So these are all from a covolter. A covolter. Um, and I. I guess they are kind of a smaller business. Um, they're definitely, I guess they're kind of smaller. I, I always feel a little bit funny. They're definitely a heart-centered business. They believe in what they do. They're more traditional witchcraft than some businesses. So that is more of a, that vibe. Um, and I know that a lot of people have probably come here for like a silly video and thought, mm, maybe these are a little bit uh, too dark for me, Joe. Maybe it's a bit too dark all round. Look at this freaking light in today. It's like, wah, wah, wah. But to be honest with you, I feel that that's an unfair assumption on things, right? Because just working, because a witch looks to work with spirits around them, which is kind of like one of the founding principles of witchcraft anyway, doesn't make it like a negative thing, a nasty thing, a bad thing. We're going to be talking about that going forward. Um, so, yeah. Go out and support them if you're looking for this sort of thing. I highly recommend the Necromancy Incense. I've also tried their Hedge uh, Crossing Incense, and which is gorgeous, and their Shapeshifter Incense, which works really, really well. So, hands up, thumbs up for all of that goodness. And I will see you guys next time. Many blessings. <laughs>